Welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I'm giving my thoughts on today's pre-season friendly against Birmingham City. Obviously the result in pre-season doesn't matter too much but we did come away from today's game with a 1-0 um, loss. But you know I thought the lads put in a really good effort today, played some decent stuff at times. Um, but the main thing um, that I could take away from the game, it's been for a while hasn't it? Um, even towards the end of last season, in pre-season, we've shown it. We haven't got, you know, the, the quality in the final third at times, personally. And it's clear to see Walsall need, you know, a couple of strikers to come through the door before Morgan, personally. And I think that's a big one. Even though I've put in a decent display today, there's still lots of work to do, personally, um, in, for two weeks' time when we play Morecambe in the first game of the season. But, like I said, I thought we, we put in a good shift and play some, like I said, play some decent stuff at the time. I thought we, especially second half, we broke Birmingham down really good through the middle. It's just that final ball, you know, that final cross into the box, that final shot. Um, you know, we need that. We need the strikers in personally. Um, I, I think m many fans will say the same. And I think what we've got to understand sometimes, you know, strikers are probably the most expensive um, position on the pitch and sometimes you've got to you know splash the cash at getting a striker in obviously it's not guaranteed they're going to score goals but it shows a bit of intent and personally I think Warsaw need to be going out identifying their targets that they've put forward and we need to get them in before the Morecambe game per personally um, at the bare minimum one we need we need someone up there that you know is going to show up um, have a you know a goal scoring presence up there but if we go through some individual performances today I thought Jamie Jellis looked really good I think it looks like a real good pick up from Walsall obviously he signed him in January he got injured I believe at Tamworth obviously when he signed with us then he wasn't available until around April time I think he made his debut against Notts County I believe in that game um, he showed some glimpses at the end of last season to a good player but he's really coming in pre-season put some really good performances and I was really impressed with him today um, really showed some good qualities going forward driving forward and as like I said really impressed with Jamie Jellis another player I was impressed with Taylor Allen now this this man's come on really far as and he you know under the Mickey Flynn days he's more of a left wing back more of a squad player but now he, he would be one of my first names on the te team sheet at left centre back a a outstanding delivery some really good defensive Jules as well, you know, he won most of his one-on-ones as well, so really impressed with him, and yeah, I think, obviously um, centre-backs will be a big question, one, personally where will McKenty play, because I thought he put in a decent shift again today personally, I'd prefer to see him in midfield you know, that late runner into the box, you know, he, he, he wins his head is really good, so I think that skill, if he played in midfield, he's one that we could utilise really well, but my little worry is the centre back strengthness. I still think we could bring in one more, maybe on loan, just to provide a bit more competition. Um, and you know, like I said, competition and you know, a bit of rotation in there. But like the, like I said at the start of the video, the main priority is the strikers. We need to get in some quality strikers, preferably on on a permanent deal, and you know, pay a fee for them. But we need to just bring in strikers that are going to hit the ground the ground running, get some goals for us. Because at the moment, that is my Area area of worry. I think also at times I think the the final ball we've got to work on. The quality sometimes isn't there. You know, trying to break the lines, it gets intercepted or some of the crosses are not beating the first man. We've got to improve that in the train on the training pitch and hopefully we do. But obviously we've got the trip to Ireland on Tuesday to draw that. I will be going. Um, to that one, obviously I've been today, and you know it was a decent turnout. I was expecting a few more on a Saturday, and um, obviously Blues sold out their way and very good support. Um, but you know some, you know I think about four and a half thousand there, some good cash hopefully to bring into the club. Like I said, I will be at you know the draw the game um, on Tuesday. I'll give a match reaction on that one, so stay tuned to that. Make sure you subscribed if you're not already, so you don't miss that video. But you know some good positives to take from today's game, but. There's still things we've got to work on and hopefully we do, you know, we're still working hard getting them strikers in, like I've said many times in this video, but it's an area of concern personally going into the season and strikers are that important in a squad. They can sometimes win your promotion and they're that key and I think if we can get a couple of them, it really could push us 
um, you know, to have a really good season. But we'll wait and see. Fingers crossed. Stay patient and we get them strikers we want. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave in a comment your thoughts on today's game. Um, like I said, like if you if you enjoyed this video, like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the saddlers.